All right, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys the best way for you to have cheat codes when playing Pokemon Legends Arceus on the Yuzu and Ryu Jinx emulator. Now, I know in the past I made two other videos explaining how to get cheat codes for Pokemon Legends Arceus using emulators. One method is through Cheat Engine, the other through PK Hex. But this, what I'm about to show you, is literally the best way to basically have cheat codes when you're playing on emulators. This is basically the number one method, if you will ask me. So, what you do here is, I'm leaving the description down below to the GBA temp um, site. When you go here, as you can see, this is basically the cheats, right here. And then you basically go into explanation of what they do. It's pretty simple and easy on how to set this up. So you see right here, it tells you which location it goes from margin to Yuzu. I'm gonna showcase you guys real quick how that works. So we're gonna get the attachment. Now it's gonna come as a zip file. So you're gonna need something like um, one wire or seven zip to open this up. And then we're gonna drag and drop with this to our desktop. And then we're gonna basically minimize this. And then we're gonna first try this on Yuzu. So I'm gonna open this up real quick. Close that. So right here, I'm gonna have the cheats right here onto this side. Then I'm gonna open up Yuzu. I'm showcase you guys how to set it up on Yuzu. It's pretty simple and easy. All right, so you're gonna left click, open mod data location. And right here, these are basically the cheats. Uh, I think it's... I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. And try to drag and drop it right here. I'm gonna minimize this real quick. Then when you do this, let's get out of that. For the properties. As I can see, all the cheats are enabled right here. Basically all the cheats. Now, I do suggest not using all of them at one time because this Using a cheats, even for custom firmware switch, I'll say don't don't try to use every cheat all at one time. I say use um, five cheats, five cheat codes at a time, due to the fact that it can crash. And do keep in mind that for this to work, you need to be around a version one point zero point two and up. If you're not in version one point zero point two and up most likely these cheats won't work, so make sure you update your game files. Now, like I said, you can just try five cheats at a time, and then you press OK, and then basically boot up the game. I'm not gonna show gameplay, due to the fact that if I do, this video is gonna get cleaned by Nintendo. All righty, so on to the next one, we're gonna use the Ryu Jinx. Now, I'm gonna showcase you guys how to set up a Ryu Jinx. It's basically the same way with um, use it now. You're gonna go to the you're gonna left click and go to mod mod open mods directory. Don't go to manage sheets, you have to go to mods directory first. Now, I'm not gonna copy and paste the whole thing like I did the last time because that was kind of like that was kind of a stretch that I did, it's kind of a weird, weird stretch I did. So I'm gonna highlight these two. I mean these five. And then I'm gonna drag and drop it right here. Then we're just gonna exit out of this because we don't need this anymore. And then when you do that, you just exit out of that. Now for you to activate the cheats or make sure it's um, activated, go then you can go to manage cheats. And then as you can see, um compared to um, Yuzu, it's not automatically checked, so you basically have to highlight this to make sure it's on. Like I said, it's safe to not use them all at once, instead of use them one at a time. Let me see if I can open this up a little bit bigger. Yep, I can. And then when you do that, you just exit out. And then you're basically all set to go. Now I know I'm in version 1.0.0 for Ryu Jinx, but I really don't play Pokemon. 
the Legends Arceus on Ryu Jinx. I mostly play on Yuzu, and I play it, I think I'm on version 1.0.1 on Yuzu. So I really don't play much on emulators. I play on my custom firmware switch, but I do make videos explaining what you can do with the emulators. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you set up cheats. It's very simple and easy if you're comp trying to compare this with custom firmware. Custom firmware, there's a lot more steps, but with emulators, you just basically drag and drop in the mod directory and it's pretty much easy. And then shout out to this guy um, who, made, who um, basically made these cheats. This is the fact that this is the first time I ever seen somebody do something like this. And yeah, this is very the first time. I didn't see this, anybody did this for BDSP or Sword and Chill. So we usually use PGA Hex or Cheat Engine. So shout out to this, that guy for basically making the cheats um, enable with emblems. I know that takes a lot of work. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to him. That's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Brady Tone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.